welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. We are on the paint side of the studio because we are picking paint today. If you watch some of my videos, you know that I started a Patreon account. And what that is, is I have people join and there's different tiers and you get different perks for each tier. Uh, you get fun swag and you get color challenges and early access and for instance, well, you can't really see. I don't have a clean one. This is one of the swags you get a chance to win. Um, now, one of the tiers, you get to choose a color palette for a YouTube video for mine. Now, the rules are you could choose any colors you want. It could be a picture, an inspiration. It could be horribly ugly. It doesn't matter what it is. I have to do it. And obviously it's a little nerve wracking, but also kind of exciting because I'm sure I'm going to get inspired by color combos that I would have never thought of. So this month's winner is Jody Zumwalt. Now, Jody Harley Zumwalt, I hope I pronounced that correctly. She chose very interesting colors for us. We have butter yellow. We have egg yolk yellow. I love the imagery there tangerine magenta prussian blue now yellows and blooms are hard and especially differentiating between butter and egg yolk shall be interesting now let's look at some of my colors here sorry i'll move this down a bit now do not judge okay i'm organized this is my amsterdam drawer very organized this is my golden drawer. It doesn't even close, but I know where everything is. My favorite drawer, however, are my piggy drawers, also very organized. So there, clean and organized, okay? Now, let's actually talk about what, how we're gonna layer, what we're gonna start with, how we are going to build this color combo. Number one, and the easiest one, is Prussian blue, because I know I have it, and I know I have it in Amsterdam, somewhere, <laughs> Prussian blue. Now, I also know that I have magenta, oh, I'm breaking things over there, that didn't happen. Now, uh, I do know that I have magenta, Quinacridone magenta, which I use quite often. This is my golden. So we have two easy ones knocked out. Let's talk about the yellows. So for me, egg yolk yellow, a color that I use often is dye your eyed yellow. It's kind of egg yolky, right? So we're on a good path so far. Now we just need tangerine and butter yellow. Tangerine, I have a vision. I don't actually use many orange two paints. I'm not a big orange person, but I do know that in my piggies, I have mango and horizon. Now I know they look really similar here, almost identical. I know they are not similar. However, since I'm not an expert in these oranges, I don't actually know the difference. I think mango is brighter than horizon when, when it's mixed up. Um, I think I'm going to go with Horizon anyways, just because I know it. Now, next, when I see or hear Butter Yellow, we have two of these yellows to choose from. We have Submarine, which is more, I think, of the egg yolk variety. And I have one of my faves, Lemon Sorbet. This dries in certain lights really gold, so it has a really warm gold tint. I know it's not totally buttery, but it's like pretty buttery, right? Pretty buttery. So we have our base colors. Now, of course, I'm free to add and do what I want. We have to start thinking about layering and what our vision is. Because the way that I, the way I start with layering is to think, what color is my cell activator going to be? Is it going to be white or a darker color like paint gray, which I usually use. So to figure that out, I look at what tubes I have going on because the color that I lay on top is going to depend on the color my, no, the color my cell activator is, is going to depend on what color I lay on top. I'm not, I know I'm not going to lay the yellow on top. That's just not my jam. Whatever color you lay on top, 
you're gonna see the most of, okay? So we have a choice, Prussian blue or magenta. I, this magenta really takes over. So it depends, do you want a really in your face magenta look or do you want a cooler blue look? Either way, especially with the blue on top, I would use a white cell activator. With the magenta, um, you could go either way, but I'm probably more prone to white. Um, and I don't know if I want a magenta in your face. So maybe we're thinking of layering the Prussian blue on top with a white cell activator. So now, you also might notice in all of my pores, I use an interference color because I just love interference colors. And it, I find it really gives a good depth. So I go to my interference section over here and I think to myself, what kind of color do I want to throw? Do I want to throw more of a bluish cool color or like a warmish pinky color? Now, I already have this lemon sorbet, which is warm because it's gold. So perhaps I want something kind of cool. Um, a color that I use a lot is Twinkle. It's kind of like a bluish violet color and it's kind of special. I really enjoy it. So I would throw that in. Okay, so we have three tubes, three piggies. So I would go diorite yellow. Mm probably the lemon sorbet, um, perhaps the um, magenta with the horizon, and then I just have the twinkle left. Now, if I wanted, now I'm thinking to myself, is this okay or is this too boring? It's definitely not boring because there's like different colors happening, but I feel like it needs a little oomph in there, right? So, and it needs to be a tube, because I don't want to be doing three piggies. So for that oomph, do I want to go? I have so many options. Um, one of my go-tos is this sky blue. I really enjoy it. Um, maybe. Do I want to throw, hmm, do I want to throw a purple in there? That could be nice. Um, permanent blue violet. I enjoy this purple a lot by Amsterdam. Or do I want to be crazy and do turquoise green? So I have to think of the progression, right? So we have yellows to pinks to orange. Do I want that crazy thing in there? <clears throat> or do I want it more complimentary, like a gradient from yellow to pink to purple to blue? I think that'll probably look better, right? I think so. Okay. Oh man, I think we have our situation. Let's discuss something else. I think today, I so I just changed the flooring uh, in my studio, changed because I cover it in plastic, like I'm Dexter and I'm gonna murder somebody, but we are changing it so I can't really spin today because you know, when I spin it goes everywhere. So I thought it might be a good opportunity to do a full tilt video oh my god look at me what a mess sorry bloop pretend i'm professional thank you now what do i have where's my big guy i haven't decided yet um i might do the 12 by 24 to tilt or i just might do a 10 inch like it depends how confident i am in these colors but to be honest like you know what i always say it's only wasted paint if it doesn't work so maybe i should so a few things about tilting you don't i mean it's so hard to say sometimes if you're if you have a smaller piece you might want to put a little more paint so you could really tilt and get the um composition you want i'm a little more wary of putting a lot of paint on a big one because you really want to make sure that all the paints tilted off. So let me mix up the paints. Um, and I'll go back. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you soon. Let's get to work. Hi guys, it's the next day and um, I caught Mo's cold. I don't know if you can hear. So I'm kind of 
um, cheating and I'm going to go back to spinning. I have this huge um, fluid art pour mat from fluid art company. So um, to protect my floors at least. And I am going to spin because I'm like feeling tired. Okay. However, what we are going to do in my goal is to leave a bit of negative space. So I don't want to cover this whole piece which can sometimes be hard for me because I always put a lot of paint down. So I'm going to be very careful with that. And blowing out a rectangle also can be hard because you've really got to, you know, be careful how you blow it. I'm using my hair dryer today also. Um, so let's get to just doing it. Let's see what happens, right? So this is my Glidden Essentials eggshell. And because we're going big, I don't want to put too much. And this has thickened up a bit. So I want to make sure that we don't put too much because I do want negative space. So I just spread her out. And if I need more in one corner or something as I spin, I can just put some more down. <clears throat> so there we go, let's see. Just even her out a little bit, you know? Yeah. As you see, a blue, which I want to get out. One moment, let me get a little skewer situation. Um, where did you go, Mr. Blue? I think you're right here, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's a little yucky, whatever that is. Um, okay. So uh we are, are we good? Let's see my paint. Pretty good. I'm not loving my pillow today because it has thickened up maybe a slight too much, but we'll see. All right. Um, maybe I'll put a little bit more just around the edges here. And then let's get to work, right? Okay. Oh, I <laughs> You know how I love doing things on the floor because it's like so comfortable for, for us aging people. Okay, now let's start with, uh, we got the diorite yellow. So I'm gonna go small and like in like a square uh, rectangle-ish, okay? I'm gonna get on my knees, okay. <laughs> um, then we have lemon sorbet which I love. Okay. Then we have the magents. Then we have the horizon. Okay. Then we have the perps. Just a bit of the perps. We don't want too much, right? Then we have the twinkle. Okay. I think this is a fair amount of paint, not too much. I'm going to put a bit of the blue. Not too much. Okay. So I have my white. Oh gosh, I'm going to sit for a bit. I have my white Shelly Art Cell Activator. Um, because my pillow paint is a little on the thicker side, I'm not sure how far she's going to blow out. So we will see about that. Um, I'm using my new hair dryer. I'm gonna take my glove off so I don't get too much paint on her. Um, Cause I resin shut my other one. This is Conair Infinity Pro. It's pretty good. I mean, I haven't perfected her yet cause I just got her, but um, she works okay. Not too bad. Okay, let's get to blowing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God, those noises are so funny. Not very professional, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna put a little bit. I don't need. I don't need it so crazy salacious. Now, my cell activator is a little thicker. Actually, well, 
Um, like, it's like, okay, so I don't mind the watercolor look, but I know that it's too blown out, okay? So I know it's not perfect, um, which I don't like. Uh, hmm. I mean, do I want to just spin it so you guys can see what it looks like? Uh, I'm not a big fan. That happened because my paint for that blower was pretty small. So maybe mouth blowing would be something. I mean, yeah, listen, I'll just give her a go. But my problem in which I've realized is I know what it's supposed to look like and I know when there's mistakes. But even when there are mistakes, they can be really pretty. And most people don't know, who don't know about the blue, that it was a mistake in the first place, but I know. You know what I mean? And I wish I could just let it go with all the mistakes because this could technically be very pretty. I'm not sure yet. You know what I mean? But I know that technically for the bloom, it wasn't correct. You know? So I'm just making petals because we're going to give her a, um, we're going to try to, let's see make her look okay. Now, um, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to put on a new glove because I'm so clean. One moment. And I'm going to kind of stretch her back and forth first. And then I'll, tr maybe I'll make a new one. Mm, you want to stretch? No. Also, probably I didn't have enough pillow paint down in the middle, um, which is another problem. Let me just move my paint out of the way. These little things are good to know because sometimes I rush or I just don't even think of it. Uh, okay, here we go. Ready? We're going to spin her out. So this is the watercolor e ish bloom. Oh, shit. Thanks. Look, I'm spinning right on the floor. It's not very clever, Lisa Marvin. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We are going to mm, 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 move this a little bit. Move you a little bit so you can see. Okay. Move these paints out of the way. I don't even think I'm liking oops, what's happening here. Anyways, um, but I'll keep spinning for your sake so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Out of the way. Okay. Okay, let's look at there. See, and it's like stretching. No, this is just not working for me. All right, that's okay. We're just gonna go again, right? Because that's how we roll. Let me. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. So hopefully, I don't know if I told you, but my studio lights are broken, so that's why we're in a natural light today. Um, which also I don't love. Okay, what are we doing here? Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna put more pillow paint down right in the middle and go again. Because that's how we roll. And sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? A little bit more. And sometimes you're gonna waste a lot of paint. And that is just part of the job. Okay. Let's try again. I don't even know if I liked the color layering because the colors uh, didn't really show up well. So because we're thick, I am going to go bigger with the colors, how I normally would go. Okay, so we have the yellow on the sorbet. And now I can't even sit on the floor because it's all wet. <laughs> okay, the gents. Now I'm going fast. Um, you know, my other problem is I'm always afraid if I go too long, you guys will get bored. My attention span is so short. I figure if I would get bored about something, you guys certainly would too. All right, here. Little perks. 
I like this amount of paint better already, by the way. I was trying to, like, do something that I don't normally do. I think this will work out better, but you never know, right? Okay. Now, we're going to do it again. And, um, I think I should thin my cell activator a little bit so it flows out um, better. So right now, I don't know if you could see, it's like one, it's like just a second too thick for me. So I'm just going to add a bit more of my Floetrol to thin it out just a touch. Okay, here we go. Now this, I'm going to have covered everything, so I'm not going to have negative space. We'll see which one we like, which idea we like better. Okay. Okay. because um, you never know what edge is going to show and what's not going to show. So I just like to like finish up my edges just a little bit when we're unsure of where she's going to spin, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, pretty like that. Um, just shaking some leaves and like some spots that might look boring or, you know, I just try to zhuzh them up a little bit. I don't like too many swirlies to be honest. I, I try to use them, um, sparingly just to make some of the shapes that I like. Okay, I think we are good. To go. I'm just gonna like spin and see, you know? Spin and see how we go. Or should I try to tilt a little bit first? I'm gonna spin slowly and then kind of judge. So you can see how much paint you put down is always important. You can see the consistency of your, of everything, but even your cell activator is important. Um, I think she's really pretty. And that horizon on top of the magenta is looking kind of nice. <clears throat> and you want to keep spinning until you don't have paint moving in the middle. Let's see here. How we're doing. I'll just we do have a bit of paint left, so I'll just I'm gonna spin these edges off but I'm just looking. We're pretty good. Mm. And I do have negative space, which is nice. A little bit, right? Oh. You know what? These colors are kind of fun and really rainbowy. And I'm kind of digging them. Um, I'm gonna do a close-up, but let's see. Do we need to spin anymore or we're good? 
I'm gonna do one more spin. But I think I'm, um, you know, she's kind of cute. Whew. Well, she made me work for it a little bit, but sometimes that's what they do. But let me guys, let me know what you guys think of this color combo. Did you, are you glad I scraped the first one? Um, I think I am because these colors are cute. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Bye.